Hey everybody, this is Marcus Clayton from the English Writing Center. I am one of the three English instructors in the lab. Uh, you'll be seeing me a lot along with Jay Selby and David Diaz. So um, this video is just to give you a little bit extra help for this first week's assignment. Uh, the video you just watched was a video we did last semester that's still relevant right now, except for one key part to this assignment. And I'm going to show you how to do that particular part right now, all right? So um, in the previous video, we had you guys just write a fake email and just turn it in along with your other uh, assignments here with your three words, as well as you know um, the definition and that sort of thing. What we're asking of you guys, just to make perfectly certain you know how to send emails to instructors, is to actually send one of us an email. So not a fake email this time, a real, you know, honest to God email. So you're gonna send one to either me or Chase Selby or David Diaz, and we are very easy to find on. So what you need to do is look for this button on the side, it says inbox, go ahead and click that. And that will take you to a list of conversations. And this is basically your uh, email inbox for Canvas, all right? So if you want to send an email to someone on you know this module, Right here, you're going to see a Compose a New Message button. Go ahead and click that. And make sure you select the lab course. So let's say 145, 145 uh, 20 and 145 are doing the same assignment uh, for now. So this will apply to you as well, 28 students, all right? So click that. Make sure you're sending it to 145 or 28, whichever one applies to you. And then type in let's say Chase Selby. So you see his name's already, you know, in the list of people to send emails to. And that's gonna be the same for, you know, me and David. Uh, there I am, and there David is, all right? So it's gonna say their name and it will send directly to them, all right? We will get it. So as you recall, you wanna send a nice polite email telling the instructor that you're not gonna be there for the day, so you know, um, you want to put something like along the lines of like missing class. Um, I, I do a lot of modules. That's what that's about. And then make sure you write the word practice or something so that we know for a fact that this is a practice module. All right. Um, David and Chase are both teaching 145 classes. So very important for them, especially if you're in the class that you say there's a practice one so they don't get, you know, mixed messages or that sort of thing. All right. So remember, you want to make sure your message is nice and polite. Hello, professor, or hello, instructor. Hello, um, you know, Mister, whatever you want to call any of us. So let's just let's just let's just make this a bit more uh, streamlined. Hello, Mister Selby. He likes to be called Chase. Doesn't really matter. I'll do this just to get him angry. Hehehe. <laughs> and you know, just a nice polite. Um, you know, how are you? today or something even for like a better term more basic uh, something easier um, you know I will unfortunately not be in, I, 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 in class today due to a serious illness I am sorry for the inconvenience Inconvenience. Fun fact: English professors can't spell. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, I will be certain to get the homework from a peer in class. Thank you very much. And one other thing that I forgot to put, and I spelled unfortunately incorrectly. This is the correct way to do that. Um, you know, so this is. So and so, where's the ampersand? So and so from your English 145 class at, you know, such and such time. And this is, you know, I'll just put time here. And remember, this is very important because we are still getting to know your names. Uh, it's still very early in the semester. So, you know, we might not know exactly who you are just from the email, but it's, it's still nice to say, you know, this is me. Uh, as a nice reminder, that sort of thing. All right, so do that. Then you know, you sign it. You know, I thank you very much, uh, sincerely, and then I'll use write use my name. Uh, all right, and then you hit send. 
So once you have done that, um, you know, call a tutor over, have them check your other work, and then you're going to want to click right here where it says sent. Show them that you sent a practice email. All right. So when they see this, once they see that's in the sent file, that will show them that you sent the actual email. All right. So that's it for that one part. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, if you have any other questions, let a tutor know. Uh, I'll be around, Chase will be around, David will be around, um, you know, and we'll help you out. All right, um, back to your work.